Google is free. There are more than two biological sexes. Shocker, right? It would literally take a five second Google search for you to figure that out. But clearly Marjorie Taylor Greene's brain is just like no thoughts, brain empty. Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you want to join the cuties fam, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon to get notified when I make new videos. All my socials are linked down below, including my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Cameo, Patreon, Discord, my podcast, which has a new episode out, so go check that out. All the links will be down below. Also, some people have told me that YouTube has randomly unsubscribed them to my channel, so if you're watching this, please do a double check that you're subscribed and that you have the post notifications on so that you can keep up to date with all of my videos. And if you aren't subscribed, because I know a lot of people watch my videos who aren't subscribed, make sure you do that because it helps support my channel and it makes me really happy and you can join the cuties family. So whenever I say, hey cuties, you know I'm referring to you, you little cutie. Before we jump into this video, I wanna give a big shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me in this extra special way. You have no idea what it means to me. And thank you for always being so understanding of my hectic life and my severe depression and anxiety. You guys are literally family to me and I love you all with my entire heart. Thank you so much for supporting me. Anyways, Let's get into the video. So we need to talk about Congresswoman Majorie Taylor Greene because this woman sucks real bad. Like deep, deep, deep bad. And the funniest thing is that in my video I did about Rachel Kirkconnell on The Bachelor, Rachel is from Forsyth County, Georgia, which is known as an incredibly racist and extremely conservative um, area in Georgia. It has like a really bad racism problem, obviously, from all the stuff you saw in that video. But Majorie Taylor Greene is also from Forsyth County, Georgia. I'm seeing a trend here with the people from Forsyth. Yikes. Before we get into what Majorie Taylor Greene did recently, which is absolutely incredibly transphobic and appalling, we need to understand who she is as a person first. Majorie Taylor Greene is a congresswoman who entered a runoff last year to be a Republican nominee for the US House seat in Georgia. Basically, her opponent dropped out and she ran unopposed and won. Soon after this, Majorie Taylor Greene started laying the groundwork for her political persona, which was a far-right extremist, adopting QAnon conspiracy theories and pushing baseless claims. She posted back in November 2017, have you guys been following 4chan, Q, any of that stuff? Q is a patriot, we know that for sure. He is someone that very much loves his country and he's on the same page as us and he's very pro-Trump. Many of her posts on social media indicated support for executing top Democrats, including the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She claimed that Muslims should not be allowed to serve in government and compared Black Lives Matter activists to neo-Nazis and the KKK. She also has shared a slew of conspiracy theories, many of which are rooted in anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and white nationalism. Most notably, she has fully embraced QAnon, which if you didn't know, QAnon is deemed by the FBI, a potential domestic terrorism threat. QAnon is not some patriot who's helping people with conspiracy theories. This is someone who is spreading incredibly dangerous misinformation and lies. But some of the conspiracy theories that Majorie Taylor Greene have been spreading is that Trump is trying to save the world from a shadowy cable of Satan worshiping P words, also known as creeps, in Post Unearthed recently, Green wrote in 2018 that a devastating California wildfire was caused by a Jewish controlled laser beam from space, which is incredibly anti Semitic. She also said incredibly horrible things about two Muslim women, the first two Muslim women who have ever been elected into Congress, Ilhan and Rashida. You've probably know them from, you know, AOC and Ilhan and Rashida, you know, the three powerful women of color in Congress. There is an Islamic invasion into our government offices right now. You saw after midterm elections, what we saw so many Muslims elected. What we had that woman out of Minnesota, now she's going into Congress and she's gotta wear a head covering. You know, they wanna put their hand on the Quran and be sworn in, no. You have to be sworn in on the Bible. You can just tell she's so incredibly ignorant and uneducated that she believes that you have to be sworn in by a Bible. You can be sworn in by any religious text. You, you don't even need to use a religious text, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can literally swear in on the constitution or something like that. And this is what a local Republican official had to say about Majorie Taylor Greene. 
There's nothing she can do to lose my vote, unless she murdered a baby or something. There's really nothing she could do. That is cult behavior, sir. That is very much cult behavior. Yes. Why do we not see that? If you blindly follow someone and you say that there's basically nothing that they can do to make you stop following them, you're in a cult. You're brainwashed. You need help. She also began sharing baseless claims that huge mass shootings were actually false flag events that were staged by gun control proponents. Of course, she shared these baseless claims in order to appeal to her far-right extremist gun rights activists. She believes that these mass shootings are faked. And this includes the 2017 massacre in Las Vegas and the 2018 Parkland school shootings. After the March 2019 mosque shootings in New Zealand that killed 51 people. This is what Marjorie Taylor Greene had to say online. This is a false flag shooting with an intent purpose to affect our second amendment rights and try to frame those who are on 8chan. Is this woman just stupid or is she dumb? Like I don't, I can't tell. David Hogg, who was a survivor of the 2018 Parkland school shootings, was advocating for more gun control in America and was outside the US Capitol doing so. During this time, Marjorie Taylor Greene a grown ass woman trailed David Hogg for nearly two minutes, berating him, yelling at him, repeating baseless theories, and accusing him of trying to take away her Second Amendment rights. David, why are you supporting the red flag laws? If there had been, if Scott Peterson, the resource officer at Parkland, had done his job, then Nicholas Cruz wouldn't have killed anybody in your high school, or at least protected them. Why are you supporting red flag gun laws that attack our Second Amendment rights? And why are you using kids to get to, as a barrier? Do you not know how to defend your stance? Look, I'm an American citizen. I'm a gun owner. I have a concealed carry permit. I carry a gun with, for protection for myself. And you are using your lobby and the money behind it and the kids to try to take away my Second Amendment right. Kids, why do you use kids? Why kids? You know, if school, if school zones were protected by with security guards with guns, there would be no mass shootings at schools. Do you know that? The best way to stop a bad guy with a gun is with a good guy with a gun. But yet you're attacking our Second Amendment. And you have nothing to say. He had 30, 30 um, appointments where he ran around and got to talk to senators. I got to talk to none. None. He had media coverage all over the place. I had zero. Guess what? I'm a gun owner. And he's a coward. He can't say one word because he can't defend his stance because there is no defense for taking away guns. Do you have no respect for yourself? Like at all? You're a grown ass woman who has probably done nothing brave in her entire life and you are calling a survivor of a school shooting a coward for not responding to you harassing him. Make it make sense, bitch. Make it make sense. And this is what David Hawk had to say about this after the fact. I would hope we can agree that there should be no place no committee assignment, but no place, period, for people who spread conspiracies about school shootings or threaten to kill Democratic lawmakers. Anyways, so clearly we've painted a picture of Marjorie Taylor Greene. I don't know how the hell she is in Congress or how a country could allow someone like this who has such starkly harmful views, who believes conspiracy theories that are baseless and have absolutely no evidence to support them. How do you allow someone like this into government? How do you allow someone like this in a place of power where they are capable of making decisions for your country? It's disturbing. It's disgusting, genuinely. So about a week or two ago, the House of Representatives voted to pass the Equality Act. This is a bill that would ban discrimination against people based on sexual orientation or gender identity. It would also substantially expand the areas to which these discrimination protections apply. So basically what this bill is doing is it's extending basic broadly accepted tenets of the Civil Rights Act to classes of people that it doesn't explicitly protect. So the bill did get passed and now it's going to the Senate to be approved. In the House, all Democrats supported this bill and only three Republicans supported it as well. That's pretty fucking sad that there was only three Republicans who supported the Equality Act. We really know where the Republicans stand on equality. 
It's disgusting. So when the House Democrats introduced this bill last week, Biden reiterated his support in this statement. He said, I urge Congress to swiftly pass this historic legislation. Every person should be treated with dignity and respect, and this bill represents a critical step towards ensuring that America lives up to our foundational values of equality and freedom for all. Period, Biden. Period, King. Like, go off. I don't even like Biden, but like... This is an incredibly important bill. But another aspect of this bill that is incredibly important is that the Equality Act trumps the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, which is commonly known as the RFRA. So basically this law was passed in 1993 and it set a higher bar for government to defend laws if people argued that those laws infringed upon um, religious freedoms. But the Equality Act will trump the RFRA, which basically means you will not be allowed to discriminate against LGBTQ people on the basis of religious freedom. Republicans obviously oppose this greatly because they believe that it infringes upon religious objections. Uh, but in my humble opinion, if you're running a business, if you're running a company or a store or some shit like that, and you're gonna turn away a customer for being a member of the LGBTQ community or for being black or for being a person of color or being a minority or being a disabled, you should not be running a business. You should not be allowed to discriminate against someone. These are the same people who get so violently mad when they're just told to wear a mask in a store. They're like, you're discriminating against me, but then they won't let LGBTQ people into a store because they're like, it's my religious liberty to discriminate against you, actually. No, bitch, it's not. Take your bigoted ass out of here. Nobody wants you here, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, why are you running a business if you're gonna turn away people um, for something that they can't change, that they were literally born with? Like, for the same reason you can't turn away black people or people of color, you should not be allowed to turn away LGBTQ people. I don't understand anyone who would oppose this act. It's incredibly disturbing to me that there is so many Republican Congress people who oppose this Equality Act. And the most notable being Marjorie Taylor Greene. So I'm going to show you this video of Marjorie Taylor Greene at the House hearing. I'd like to point out to my Democrat colleagues that there is no Republican member of Congress that condones the attack on the Capitol on January 6th. I was also a victim in this chamber when it happened, and we are very offended at your constant attacks on us for claiming we had anything to do with it. So that needs to stop. I'd also like to address the entire 117th Congress and say that the Equality Act is not about stopping discrimination, it's about causing discrimination against women and religious freedoms. I would like to motion to adjourn, Madam Speaker. The question is on the motion to adjourn. All those in favor, say aye. aye. First of all, I want to address her mask. That's incredibly disrespectful. You know, you cannot like your president, and I, you know, I know for a fact most Democrats or left-leaning people fucking hated Trump. Even some Republicans hated Trump. But there's a certain amount of respect you have to have as a government official to your president, especially when you're on national television in these literal, like, House votes. It's incredibly disrespectful to literally have a mask on saying that this mask is as useless as Biden. That's the president. That's the person you literally work for. I, I just like, it's so funny how they sit there and they, you know, they look at Democrats or they, looked at, they look at people who are on the left wing and they think, you guys are the ones creating division. You guys are the ones creating division. And it's like, what the fuck does your mask say? You don't think that's gonna make people not trust in the president? He literally just got sworn in too. Like it hasn't even been a year. <laughs> like it hasn't even been a few months. Take a deep breath. Uh, give him a second to be president. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Biden, but like, come on now, you're already like hating on him this hard. I would think as a government official, you would show a little bit more respect. And anyways, literally only true bigots would oppose the Equality Act. It's in the name, Equality Act. Only a real ass bigot would oppose that. But you know what? These white Christian nationalists truly believe that they're the ones being oppressed. That they're the ones being forced to live in a world with these LGBTQ people, with the trans and the gays. It's that quote, you know, equality feels like oppression to the oppressor. When you bring equality into a world, of course the oppressor feels oppressed 
because now they have to be equal to everyone else when they got to live above the law and above the rules. Oh, I get to discriminate because I have this religion that tells me I get to discriminate. No, that's not how it works. You should not be allowed to discriminate, period, based on whatever religion you believe in. You should not be allowed to turn away people based on their gender identity or their sexual orientation. That's fucked up. But anyways, on the flip side, I wanted to show you Congresswoman Marie Newman. Today, on behalf of the millions of Americans who continue to be denied housing, education, public services, and much, much more because they identify as members of the LGBTQ community. Americans like my own daughter, who years ago bravely came out to her parents as transgender. I knew from that day on my daughter would be living in a nation where most of its states she could be discriminated against merely because of who she is. And yet, it was still the happiest day of my life. And my daughter has found her authentic self. And as any mother would, I swore that I would fight to ensure this country changes for the better. With the, without the Equality Act, this nation will never live up to its principles of freedom and equality. The right time to pass this act was decades ago. The second best time is right now. I'm voting yes on the Equality Act for Evie Newman, my daughter and the strongest, bravest person I know. Her statement was filled with so much love and compassion and empathy for trans people, of course. I think it's beautiful that she's been so loving and accepting of her trans daughter. She wants to fight for change in government and within policy to help protect trans people and to protect LGBTQ people. That is someone who truly has a cause and is fighting for it. But you look at people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, her speech is clearly just filled with hatred and judgment and discrimination and bigotry. Whereas Congresswoman Marie Newman is filled with love and compassion and empathy, and that's what you need in a government official, is people who have empathy for other human beings, for the citizens of the United States of America, who wants to create change, who wants to create equality in the country. How do you oppose the Equality Act? I, I don't even understand. Anyways, so Congresswoman Marie Newman, her office is like right across from Marjorie Taylor Greene. And so basically what she did is she, you know, went outside of her office and where there's like a little flag, she put a trans flag beside it because of course her daughter's trans. She's proud that her daughter's trans. She loves her daughter and she supports trans people. Now, what does Marjorie Taylor Greene go and do? She goes outside of her office directly facing that trans flag and puts up a sign that reads, there are only two genders, male and female. Trust the science. This woman, dead ass, just said, trust the science. The irony. The irony right now. Imagine saying trust the science when science isn't on your side. Damn. Are you not embarrassed? This is very embarrassing. So who's gonna tell this bitch that gender and biological sex are two very different things? Who's gonna tell her? Should I? Should I do it? Okay. So, miss, there is a general, like, spectrum and binary for gender, and most people kind of fall on, like, the binary of, like, girl or, like, boy, but some people exist in the middle of that or outside of that. Gender is a very complex social construct, and we've literally seen these complexities throughout history, throughout time. It's been widely known in many cultures. For example, native culture has this idea of being two-spirited, which has existed since the beginning of their culture, and many other cultures have these ideas. Just because Western culture created these limited, strict gender roles that we must adhere to, doesn't mean that this is how humans were meant to exist. Secondly, if you wanna talk about biological sex, you're still wrong, miss. You're still wrong. Because it is scientifically proven that there are more than two sexes. Just the fact that intersex people exist shows that there is more than just what we know as XX and XY chromosomes. Science has literally proven that there are variants of these two chromosomes, which means that the way we have always understood biological sex 
is wrong. But if you don't believe me, let's uh, listen to this doctor here. Marjorie Taylor Greene said that there are two genders and that you should trust the science. Those of us who do trust the science because we are doctors and scientists and hormone experts know that gender is a social construct and that there are things like 5-alpha reductase deficiency where people are born genetically male with female sexual characteristics that then develop male sexual characteristics in puberty so that even biological sex is non-binary, let alone gender identity which has to do with social and cultural determinants. And so I would say please keep science out of your mouth if you're trying to justify your hateful ignorance. Also, it is fucking hilarious. Like, it is so funny that this woman is saying, trust the science, when she's a literal QAnon conspiracy theorist. Ma'am, when have you ever trusted the science? This bitch thinks that Jewish space lasers created the wildfires. When have you ever trusted the science, ma'am? Never. You've never trusted the science. So why all of a sudden are you trusting the science now? And second of all, the science isn't on your side, bitch. Like, are you stupid or are you dumb? Like, what an intense act of bigotry. Because not only is she standing against trans people, she is literally saying to Marie Newman's face that your daughter is invalid. How disgusting. Marie Newman's daughter is a trans woman. And she literally put that sign out there that there's only two genders, male and female. What a stark act of transphobia. What a stark act of bigotry. What an amazing way to just show how ignorant and uneducated you are. Why don't you, for once in your fucking life, trust the science? Listen to the experts, listen to the doctors. You've been spewing conspiracy theories that have no evidence, no basis behind them and yet you spew them. Now you want to use science when it benefits your narrative, even though scientists don't fucking agree with you. Gender is a social construct. There's as many genders as we want to exist. Biological sex is obviously scientific, and even then we have proven that there are more than two biological sexes. And you're still this fucking dumb. You're still this ignorant and uneducated. You think your transphobic ass would have at least Google searched this. Google is free. Google is free. There are more than two biological sexes. Shocker, right? It would literally take a five second Google search for you to figure that out. But clearly Marjorie Taylor Greene's brain is just like no thoughts, brain empty, smooth brain, very shiny, no wrinkles. Because no thoughts, brain empty. This woman, there's nothing up there. And there's nothing in here except hatred and bigotry. And there's no room for that in Congress. There's no room for that in the government. And there is no room for that in our lives, genuinely. So I hope this horrible woman gets voted out. That makes me sick to my stomach. That there's this transphobic piece of shit in Congress. Like, how the hell did anyone vote her in? How the hell are there people like this that still exist? I, I have no words. I'm speechless. This woman literally said that the wildfires were caused by Jewish space lasers. Not only is that anti-Semitic, it's just fucking moronic. It's just like brainless, stupid. Dear conservatives, not allowing you to discriminate against LGBTQ people is not infringing on your religious freedoms. You're just a bigot. Anyways, that's all for this video. Leave a comment down below about what you're feeling about all of this. If you're just as disgusted as I am that this person is in government, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.